Fill the room with the juice. Yo, that's a lot of loot. Uh, that bit Hi guys, yes, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very different video. As you can see, I'm not by myself. However, we were talking about Trisha Paytas' video about Tati being dumb as hell, quote, is what she says. And I, I haven't seen it. He hasn't seen it. I haven't seen it, yeah. But we were told that it is pretty entertaining, intriguing, and real. Of course. I think real was like the number one thing. So it's about 29 minutes, so probably go get you a meal <laughs> instead of a snack this time. I am going to have a snack though, because I, I am the meal, let's be real. <laughs> so go ahead and go ahead and play it. I'm ready. I'm ready to right. I'm ready to watch it. Watching Turn it on. Uh, Look at her back. Than myself, I'm also 32. But in her late 30s, make this video right now is 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 skin. I cannot. She was on TikTok. Right after that, no, she's not. I'm a fan of Shane's other videos and his other Can y'all hear me? Because I won't turn my back on him. I love him. I don't support those things. Okay. Her hands look dirty as outside perspective and two look at her hands it's nothing to do with my friendship with jeffrey star look at her hands. anything that why do they look so dirty to me i was crying i was upset the the was was real was that I, it was she not the shirt so and it confirmed, confirmed what i felt yeah. on that they have that like i'm dirty it, it was it was it was not good so i'm not i'm not defending jeffrey because i don't know jeffrey like i know shane she, shane's a good person and i'm and like i said i wasn't involved with this like, is she that, having a that, breakdown yet but Tati is saying, Tati is saying she made a video because she was manipulated by two grown adults. In that video, Tati, you accused James Charles of being a sexual predator, of sexual crimes. You should be investigated for making false criminal claims. Damn. Okay, wait. You can't backtrack. You can't say someone else made you do it. That came out of your mouth. That was your first started video. Yeah, me, it, I don't know, I don't know, I wasn't involved, but if someone's like pushing you to a video, pushing you that way, you're a oh grown ass woman. You're probably damn near 40. You can't make a decision yourself. And why now are you deciding to speak up because it's, it's cool to hate Shane and Jeffrey? Is that why you're deciding to speak up? Why didn't you speak up about it in December? Right. Why That's did you true. speak at all during Black Lives Matters? Mm. All your comments in your video are, hey, Let's get justice for Breonna Taylor, and yet you didn't mention one thing. At all. Were you scared to mention George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Black Lives Matter? Honestly, y'all saw my video, that's what I said. There was a, there was a point right I said, justice for Breonna Taylor. Yeah, I mean. And again, I'm not, I'm not done with Shane, and I don't know what's happening, and I'm sure I'm still defending Jeffrey, but think of the grand scheme of things here. We are in the midst of a pandemic, of a racial movement, and this girl is concerned about Letting people know that okay. she was. I can't wear her hair, her skin, her hair. Her hair. I'm like, first of all, you can get on that camera yeah. looking <laughs> like this. I cannot. <laughs> oh, no, you, I you cannot with you. Like, like you're that. speaking you back to the They don't look at how close you look. Hey, I heard you were sexual. She got a whole white beat on. Girl, what the fuck? She went to white beat on and literally got that. Trick them or whatever. That looks like a real white beat. This is crazy. It even has the This is so, so crazy to see this. It is crazy to see this. I think. Yeah, you know what? I think a lot of people should kind of lean off to shit. And guess what? Shane's YouTube has been demonetized. Shane's not going to be posting on social media. His, his, you know, he's taken, he's taken the, the punishment of whatever crimes, which aren't even criminal, of just really poor, disgusting, tasteless comments and jokes that he's taking, taking responsibility for. We haven't heard shit from Jeffrey. But now we're hearing this girl that she's scared and in the midst of all this crazy shit in the world. She's bringing it back to fucking last year, being like, actually, I was, I was like, kind of manipulated into doing this video, bitch. What you did is a crime. You falsely accused someone else of sexual assault. You should be investigated. First of all, I am so confused because of the fact that Trisha and freaking hates it. It's the same bitch. No, it's even able to stay focused on one topic and go through the entire video. Because she's all over the place. I've seen all of her videos. She's always. Always. She, I've never seen her this focused in my life. I'm like, bitch, what cheese you eating? 
and then I'm also sorry that I accused you of being a sexual predator and that's also not what he's being accused of because mm. you started that video and also you put that out there. Okay. You heard that there was victims coming out of the police car. In order to get his phone down, you decided to make the biggest hit piece in the history of YouTube. So, okay, so was it Shane and Jeffrey who pushed you to the video? Or were you scared that sexual victims were about to come out so you wanted him to put his phone down by making a crazy hit piece from one of his best friends? If you were that concerned for him to put his phone down, maybe call and be like, hey, I heard I that you were a sexual predator and victims are coming out. Like, Period. be prepared, not like, let me also. Hi guys, so I can't believe this. Like, I actually. I can't believe it, but this video is sponsored, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add the the little ad, the little role play, okay? Because you know, I had to work with this brand and that's on period. So just stay tuned and we'll be right back with the reaction. Are you tired of people complaining about literally everything every day? Do you find yourself overly annoyed by the actions of others? Do you need fuck them all? When prescribed by your doctor, fuck them all can significantly reduce your ability to give a fuck. Tired of Karen's not minding their business? People complaining about masks got you down? Fuck them all. Fuck them all has been tested and proven to help you not give a fuck. used to give a fuck but now that i've tried fuck them all i don't give a fuck at all if you continue to give a fuck after taking fuck them all please consult with your physician side effects may include insensitivity lack of care and an extreme case of money your damn business let me stop i tell you the first okay the second i saw that ad i said oh i need to be sponsored by that brand period i need to be sponsored okay I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> we're doing a different type of video. I'm actually cooking. I feel like if we're going to react to a Trisha Paytas video, then, you know, we got to be in the kitchen, you know, where she lives. So with that being said, we're going to continue reacting. Now, if you're wondering why the first part of the video is me reacting to somebody else, that being Matt, go subscribe to his channel. That's because we were using his camera and then I was also using my camera, but his camera, like, cut out or just stopped filming due to like storage and stuff and so here we are sis okay we keep on pushing so we're gonna continue if you're wondering what i'm making i'm going to be making a chicken tortilla soup now i will go through ingredients and what i'm doing and all of that jazz while we're reacting my pot is warm okay cool and we are starting right where we just left off so just just saying if anyone's wondering but 55 million people against you. And she says the only reason she took that video down was per the request of YouTube saying it was a bad look for them. That's why you took that video, sorry? That's what I said. Like, oh, yeah. Fucked up. That's what I said. Apology to James. Taurus Gang. Until now, until Shane and Jeffrey are in hot water, you could have reissued an apology to James even in December if you felt like he was at risk. Correct. Uh, thank you. Some of you have also been overly dramatic over stupid situations like this, like you collabing with Jeffree Star and Jackie Aina not liking it and just like such, just so much bullshit. Like she's literally crying and pausing, pausing to cry because she, she paused to cry right before she mentions trying to connect Jeffree with a charity thinking that they help them and she doesn't just realize you can't change. Right. You don't, you don't need to cry over this stuff. You know what we can cry over? Cops not arresting Brianna Taylor. Like your comments say, how about mention that once? You mentioned your charity. How about mentioning Black Lives Matter? Okay, that Trisha, what medication, medication are you on, on sis? I might need it. Because you know we both crazy. Thing, I wonder why. You know we both crazy. Like, I wonder why. Like, honestly, all of this stuff, like, the fact that she's crying over this stuff, when literally, still to this day. Her skin, though, it looks awful. There's no justice. Does she not have a dermatologist? Taylor and other she needs to get Black she needs to get to the lives immediately. With zero justice for their killers for doing nothing but being black but yet she's cracking over hair vitamin her friendship with jeffrey and how she thinks shane and jeffrey who she's only met shane one time bullying her into this video again 
I want to make something clear. I'm not deflecting or defending past behaviors. I will say it again. Like, Shane owned up to his shit. Still waiting for Jeffrey's apology. I will make it clear ha! that Shane we is still waiting. Shane, my brother. I cannot, we ain't getting I cannot, it. I will not. I will never stop loving him. Like, he's, it's like my family. It's like my mother. Oh, like, and see, like, like she's a Taurus, and I know she loves him because we love cancers. We Jeffrey, do. on the other hand, there was, some, there was a lot of shady shit. It's petty shit. It's shit that I did not address, okay, that I did not, and I can apologize. I can apologize without fucking crying right now, okay, mm -hmm. because I'm 32 fucking years old. Uh, okay, I can apologize to girl, Tal. Tell him. I, I wasn't, like, I, the, the DMs I sent him were real. To taste. Oh. I apologize. To taste. I'm saying that they weren't. I, they were real. Y'all. I did have a horrible, horrible experience. Not horrible. I had pour some it out of my hands. Pour it out of experiences my hands. Experiences in Vegas, but the overall experience wasn't bad. But for me, that's petty shit compared to what's going on in 2020 that I didn't feel the need to just say this. Garlic. Nevertheless, cry over such bullshit. Okay, now she's saying in this video that Jeffrey is going to go off and we need to be prepared. Yeah. Hey, here's an idea. Yeah, blackmail sucks. And honestly, this is the, God's honest truth. There's really many fucking people in this video. Honestly, he's never said that to me. Like, I have shit over people or whatever. How about, how about we just stop saying shit that people can hold over our heads? How about we just stop being shit? people in private how about we stop saying racist bullshit stuff look at that all of drama getting one the fact that you fucking almost worried about women is still using the words like drama, drama get it bro i yeah. said that in my like, video too in the, the in the in the nick women. snyder reaction i said that things, or racist things. girl preach pretty much everybody does but how about now in 2020 oh i forgot the corn how about we Hold just stop on. saying that shit and then there's nothing to be held over your head what are you scared of jackley gonna come out with if he tries to violently hurt you, he's gonna go to jail. If there's some shit that you shouldn't have been said that's coming out, then don't fucking be a shitty person and don't behind people's back. You know what? Say what you want about me. Say I'm problematic. Well, at least I, I, I say my shit to the person I need to shit to, so it's not somebody to come behind their back. She ain't lying. She ain't lying. I don't really have much shit to say about people, but. It's just, it's just crazy. Girl. This is just crazy to see. No and like I said, I'm not, no longer like a huge Jeffree Star fan. Right. I remember texting about my Balenciaga bag, and they said they threw out all my the Balenciaga I just purchased in Vegas. I remember he That's gave me a crazy. gift and because they ditched me that night, so I couldn't go out to dinner. I stayed back in the hotel room, Tomatoes and then and when I had peppers. to get my camera out of the Stop. gift he gave me, which was a Louis Vuitton blue key ball, they gave to Rich Lux in his text. He said, "Oh, sorry, we gave that. You didn't come out with that." So Rich Lux. If y'all don't cancel that man, y'all are really making me mad. Do I need to start reacting to all his videos? Let me know in the comment section. Deflecting, oh, Jeffrey's my friend or whatever, you know? Because that, that was bullshit. That was bullshit. And, you know, but at the same time, I can't deal with this person just, you know, just, just, just piling all this on now that they're in hot water. Right. You know? And, so, and then now in 2020, because guess what? The cops that killed Brown Taylor are fucking arrested. Saying we need to forgive already in advance. It's like that. I'm done with her. Yeah. Which is How do we know what these people said? Chili powder. What if these people are mocking racist, disabled people, threatening to kill someone, laughing over death? I've, I've heard people mock people's deaths. You ain't lying. And so we should just blindly forget? That's what, yeah, recording people that's what Shane did too, though. Let's yeah, not forget. Should, that's why I was mad at Shane did the same I thing. Make a video. I said, hey, I, I am kind of like nervous to talk about Jeffrey right now. Please don't release this. And did I hate that bullshit? I hate releasing voice memos. I hate all that bullshit. Mm. Say your piece, and if it comes to court, also, whatever, if you're wondering like, like, how like, I can make this without like, looking in the actual pot, you know, I'm a G. Recording shit. That's fucked up too. I'm not gonna lie. I'll you know, just be like, we need to forgive these people. Bitch, what's he got? What's he got on you that you're like, okay, let's just like forget? Not people are fucking racist behind closed doors not people are fucking evil and mean behind closed doors she's crying over the thought Lion. of footage being released and scared Oregano. that people won't forgive rich ass influencers for saying fucked up shit behind the scenes because they all portray themselves as goody 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 they do hey who's not getting fingers pointed at right now hey fucking me because yeah, right. what I'm me. Back, I'm sorry. Pepper. i own up to my I don't betray myself to be good and goody. I'm so I mean, clean and pure human. and just no, like I do fucked up shit like every fucking human being. Preach. So talk That's why my disclaimer is so there, guys. Charles. I'm a mess up okay. too. There Some of y'all subscribe to me right now. Y'all might not like me later. David Dobrik rule. Don't address Let's it. Be real. It because it does. Look at this shit. All this is like cloud and smoke and mirrors. So 
David and his squad, other people being on YouTube can slide once again, and Brianna Taylor can no longer be trending because Tati, whatever the trending, right? Smoking fucking mirrors. It's so disgusting. Bitch, stop crying over people that are rich ass influencers saying shit that could be exposed. Stop crying over that. Celery. Jeffrey might be pissed at me for this. Whatever, whatever I said, I said. Expose it or I know who I am behind closed doors. I know who I am talking to people. Okay, I can't. I don't even think I can get through this video. Bitch, you're almost forty. You're talking about people. Don't show cool, cancel people. Nobody can cancel anybody. Real. Jenna Marbles chose to remove herself off the internet. Yes, she was probably getting hate or whatever, but you could just tell she was over the internet. Yeah. Nobody can cancel nobody. Ah. The fucking Mel Gibson, who's done some heinous shit. Woody Allen, who fucking married his daughter. Chicken bra. People don't get canceled. They just remove themselves, okay? Like, if, like at 40 years old, don't be concerned about other people getting canceled, bitch. Be concerned about yourself. Facts. Oof. Jesus. One she also mentions, like, just be mindful. Like, some people can coerce, you know, you to say things that you might not have ever said without their little push in their nut. Guess what? I don't even know what she's like even like referring to, but she, she said James was a sexual predator in her original video. There's no video of me just calling someone a sexual predator because someone else is saying it or I'm pushed to say it. Those are serious accusations. At 32, which I am now, at your age, which is almost 40, at 20, at 18, no one's pushing me to say stuff like that. That is incriminating. That's true. Imagine two people in their mid to late thirties talking about a nineteen-year-old. Right. But you also partake in this. You you remember that he said, "Oh, James actually." Tati. Who the f who wanted who with a fucking collab? Like, is this all people have? Another half cup chicken bra. She starts crying over over her beauty brand taking a toll. But as I once mentioned, the state of the world. Baby. Where is the prayers for our state of the world right now, Tati? Where is your off? Like, you prayed on this for a year, but you couldn't pray for Black Lives Matter, for any of this shit happening, Corona, people fucking die. Like, there are people literally dying, Tati. <laughs> and you're going to cry because it's affecting your beauty brand? <laughs> to meet Shane, she says. She don't watch any of his videos or anything, Chicken. but she was excited to meet him in hopes that yeah. one day she could tell her life story Cute. about her struggles getting into beauty. Right. You, you remember? Y yeah. Y'all remember my reaction That's to that. That's why you wanted to meet Shane. I said, this girl. That's why you wanted to befriend him. This, you don't do research on people you're going to meet or talk. Well, let me just continue watching. Baby girl, you are, being, you are not gaslit. Because she said, what's this like a hair, bear hair, drama, what the fuck? I, I was beyond gaslit. No, it is. No, you're just stupid. <laughs> if someone's here sitting in my home and saying, your mom molested 20 kids and we have the proof. I'm not going to go, all right, well, let me, let me just like make this video real quick, you know. I, I mean, you didn't show me any evidence. There's no proof. I've never heard this before. I don't know you. It's the first time meeting you. But let me just, let me just make this video now real quick about this um, because you're gaslighting me. No, that's called just being oh idiot like i've actually never heard something stupider out of anybody's mouth like i'm not trying to be mean or something that's, that's just plain <laughs> you know no what? evidence no you just you said in the same breath that you were a victim of sexual assault and for that i'm sorry because the majority of people I on YouTube are, including myself have also been victims of sexual assault and it sucks that's like let's not talk about it though and it's not fair so how dare you go on camera and perpetuate that don't say we're fucking gaslit you wanted to also bring him down because of the sugar bear hair thing. I hear, I hear shit all the time. I hear so much shit and I don't speak on it. Even for people I don't personally like, including Gabby Hanna, I've had heard horrific things about her. I've heard, heard horrific things about David and his friend group, people I dislike. But guess what, I don't speak on that. I speak on stuff that I've gone through, that I've witnessed. Me not too. that I've heard. Because then, that's when you start perpetuating lies, rumors, and criminal offenses, which could be criminal unto itself. If you're just repeating, what is it? And what is no one ever thinking accountability? How can people just not say fucking sorry? How much does I apologize, James? That was fucking wrong. Why do we need to put the blame? Why do we need the backstory of this? Because none of it matters. That's so true. 
Y'all, I hear she could have easily just apologized and called it a day. And um, a grown person knows not to say shit that can ruin people's lives. Like, hey, James Charles is a sexual predator because that's always going to be associated with him. Mm -hmm. He said he didn't remember such on saying, he didn't know Shane just sitting in your place. So why, why are you going to just believe something he says? I, again, I don't know. I've never heard any of this shit from anyone. As far as I've never mentioned Charles. I didn't even know sh Shane knew James. I don't know any of this shit. But it's just stupidity. Don't say you were gaslit, gaslighted when in actuality you just have no intelligence. We keep hearing about voice memos from victims of Jim Charles. Why is she I'm so glad Trisha is showing her real self. Because there's a video these are, these are like, these are like serious that I was like going to react to. Molestation. These are like serious fucking things. I might react to it tonight. Why hasn't James Charles offered something? Of her, if, if her I, old friend crimes, saying how intelligent she really is and that, that she's just a troll. No, I'm going to be like... But she's actually okay, smart. She's just trying to make come, money. Like, whoever's saying this shit, whoever's perpetuating this, Ooh, I forgot all these the videos we're making talking about it, is perpetuating if you something ever that's done. Yes, you're a public chicken? figure and you can, you can pretty much say what you want about. Oh, baby, if we're going to a serious crime, these accusations keep going, going, going. Get the grill chicken, chicken at Chick-fil-A. Yes, I know Trump. Do you believe I, to be I, a sexual predator? I'm trying. Okay. You should be like... Investigating him, or just don't. If, if nothing's, if nothing's gonna be done, just stop saying. Shit. You, you know, who else needs investigation? Oh, I'm lying in his case. She says it's not her place to contact the authorities. You a lie. I mean, you, you, you. Bitch, you got me stuttering. You, 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 you killing this video, video girl, right? The audience that you share with James Charles. Like That's who needs investigation. Oh, okay. I would love to know your rationalizing that. It's not your place to contact the cops for sexual assault or go to the person being accused, your friend being accused of sexual assault. No, just blast it on YouTube to uh, perpetuate a rumor even more. Sand so Sanders didn't watch this remember, video like, thoroughly, did he? Girls, like, trying to trick straight guys or, or whatever. Heard that and now clear. she's mentioning it in this video. One year later, you're supposedly friends with James Charles. Now, once again, you're stating once again all these allegations that are still around and arise, and you're still perpetuating it. You're still talking. Own up, say sorry, don't mention again, move the f*** on. Yeah. Talk about Breonna Taylor, Elijah McClain, Black Lives Matter, and move the f*** on. And continue making yourself perfect with a f***ing light and writing more ah! And just continue about your Was life. Was it a How ring light, Tati? This bitch has said the first rose that I've know. seen over her, her beauty launch. I'm just like everything I could to launch this beauty brand. <laughs> if you're scared for your fucking life, how about don't do a launch? <laughs> how about don't do a public event if you're if you're scared for your life? Right, that's true. How about go get security? Right. How about stay low key? Go like you know. Have someone else go to the launch. Have someone else launch it if you need to release these products. This bitch get emotional because her brand got hurt. Yeah. This is the equivalent of Japanese crying over the fact that her income on YouTube got cut into a third because she has a mortgage and she has to pay for music and music videos. <laughs> the fact that Gabby Gabby Hanna got a mortgage is, is a problem. The fact that she got income on YouTube is an issue. Like, like, I'm sorry. Have you not had to try and make like, mm -mm. you know. Ain't none of these people done struggled. Like, none of them. I was giving blowjobs for $5. Hmm. I'm okay, I ain't been doing all of that, Trisha. In a way, because I can still get brand deals, I can still monetize on other platforms. You have but to like, to yeah, it's a privilege to get to do these things. It's a privilege to have a brand. It's a privilege. It to is have a privilege. A music career. Preach, if you can even call it that. It's like I don't think they understand. Like nobody's gonna care. Mm. Could you imagine me like, oh, well, you know, I just got a new like Rolls Royce and I need to pay for it, but I don't make any money off YouTube, so. This really mm. sucks for me, guys. Like, I would never say that because there are people, like, I know, I did it for years, sucking people off for $5. It, okay? Bro, she needs to stop. $5? Come on now. Your situation to others. Tripping. It's called putting things in perspective. Five? Minimum $50 over here. You tripping. For the past four months, they're losing their homes. All my dancers had to go back to their countries. And our sister's immigrants. Facts. Let's put that into perspective, okay? This is a, this is one time. Let's compare situations to 
other people's situations. Just this one time, because we're talking now financially speaking. These people are not, talk to you especially, you really do need to get off of YouTube. Like, this is what I'm saying. No one can get canceled, but maybe this time you should probably cancel yourself. Like, just get, take a break. The fact that you're breaking down at 40 and you're, and you're married, you have support and a partner, and you have money and stuff, and you're still breaking down over you didn't think anybody would come to your beauty launch, YouTube ain't it. YouTube ain't for you. She's sobbing. YouTube ain't for you. protesting, marching together, talking on social media, not letting that die down. Not something that happened a year ago. 2020. Trisha makes sense. That's cool and great. Who would have thought? Do you appreciate that? How about not in this video? Who would have thought? Where you're backtracking, where you're blaming others, where you're taking no accountability. How about we do that in a different video? She also just goes like this, saying she's like, I love garlic. Get off YouTube! She did say that, didn't she? What did she say? There's no need to make this. If anything, you could apologize to James publicly or retract what you said in the video. I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack, and that's what she said. Because no, this is just they 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 were like talking in my ear, and I just you know they they made me do it. Like it's what is this video? She says they're hoping for you to still get better. I hope they're not. You haven't posted in six months. You haven't talked about the pandemic, coronavirus. You haven't offered to help your fans. You ain't done nothing. I'm not talking about serious issues that our world is facing. You just vanish because why? You need a time. Yeah, but she you also like remember Tati wasn't gonna do a video. People were asking her to do a video. That's why she did the video. This is gaslighting and manipulating. So this is this is it. What she's we talking asked about. Because now she's talking about her fertility, how her body was just too frail because she couldn't sleep or she couldn't eat from this. That gaslighting and manipulating. Something that has nothing to do with the story or the narrative you're trying to paint. Trying to make others feel sympathy for you so they can go blame Shannon Jeffrey. For what? For gossiping with you and you being dumb enough to be like, okay, well, they, we gossip, so now I gotta make a video about this. People tell me shit all the time. If it's something serious enough, tell the accuser, tell the victim, tell the cops, or just this in one ear or the other. Says this is far from over, scared, terrified for her life, had to relocate multiple times, but hey, let me make a video, because Jeffrey didn't say about me, Shane didn't say about me, but like, hey, let me make a video now, but I'm scared for my life. Guess what, bitch? I have 24 hours security. I had a fucking terrifying incident happen on my birthday, life-threatening incident happen on my birthday, and you know what you do? You don't talk about it. You don't egg it on. Real. Hey, you gave it to your lawyer. It's cool. Maybe they should advise you to not talk about this because there's no need. No one's talking about you, your reputation, no one's lying, no one's talking shit. So once again, you're just drumming this up. So if you're really scared for your life, how about you just don't address it? Because no one's asked for it. And it's so unnecessary. I think people did you're ask for it. This is an opportunity to come back. It was like fans, and trolls, so basically. Shit. And now you want to get those people because now it's cool to hate Shane and Jeffrey. And so doing a video on them is going to get people is back it on cool? your side. Read the comments, bitch. Two things. Arrest the cops that killed Breonna Taylor. I think, it's been, I think it's been that and way. At least over here. Take, blah, blah, blah. You're a big girl. Stop blaming others for reactions. The second I didn't get my $44, bro, I was done. 2019. I so said, right where now, is my money? Really, uh, I didn't get a Jeffrey, product. Let's see, Shane. And they're not even on your side on your own page, girl. That should give you a big red flag. How about we take this video down, too? And how about we go relocate yeah, do, do, do. and just continue doing your beauty videos and not do this shit because again, there's no, there's no, no reason, there's no purpose. What really doesn't make sense is the girls, oh no, she it's did just, not it, have it, the it, same Dawson like, merch in the bag. I, I can't, I can't. I'm terrified, I, but I need to do I need there's no need for me to do this video. I just saw it. I'm commentating, so maybe you could open up some people's eyes Interesting. to this manipulative as video. It is. You're and right. how important is though? <laughs> there's that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just not. I just gotta stop watching. This. I can't. I can't do this anymore. I had like ten minutes left to go. She literally, <laughs> she literally says in the beginning, like Jeffrey's holding over all this evidence. Like I can't say. I can't show you, but I have this evidence. 
in the same video, she just says, we have all this evidence, a day will come. Like, this is all just It's all bull. Like, it's wrong. Since said, I don't care about being monetized. Like, I'm about to tell the truth. Period. Make it make sense. So, basically, her conclusion and her hope to proof all of this is that James and Jeffrey started drama online in the beauty community. Okay? Her audience just, like, isn't about the Black drama, though. Isn't Jeffrey her audience, like, that older? Because I didn't really that. know about Tati until. Coronavirus is killing all our elderly people. Oh, there's that. <laughs> well, let's focus on drama that happened last year and who started it. Because that makes sense for a married woman in her 40s to just to just put out there. Shots fired! She, her, 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 her closing argument is, I believe they were bitterly jealous of James Charles. Eh, okay. Yes, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for jeopardizing your safety. You're so great. Trisha, girl. Shane and Jeffrey are jealous. You a talented tubby girl. Thank you. You a whole Your bravery is commended. I hope this pays for your security. dead see okay so the first time that we watched it the camera went out so then when he told me like the camera went out we stopped watching it because i told him i was like well now i'm gonna react to it so like the other part of it that doesn't work like i'll just react to it again but oh my god y'all trisha out here spin facts just spin facts just period so this is trisha when she's not trolling like it <laughs> You can tell things are bad when Trisha's the only one that makes sense. Oh my God, the points you've made here. I completely agree, Trisha. This is so well-spoken. Let's not forget, Trisha is a Taurus, okay? Like we rule the throat, we communicate throat. We, you know, we talk sensible. Or not sensible, what's the word? We're, um, is it sen sensual? Yeah, we're sensual, there we go. I was like, not sensible. Not to say I'm not sensible, but what I'm saying is Trish is not necessarily sensible, so I didn't want to use that word in replacement of sensual. Woo! Now that was a rabbit hole. Talk about Wayfair. Okay, so look, we are going to wrap this video up because there is too many, there's too many videos that I want to talk about and do right now. So let's just wrap Trisha up, put a bow on it, smack it, call her a Teletubby. She is it. She killed it. She crushed it. Oh, also like the, the, uh, let me look at the, the, yeah, see the like to, to dislike ratio, 203K up like 206, I mean 200, 26,000. 
down this 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 light interesting and this is already almost at 2.4 mil that's crazy 2.4 million views and what's crazy is she didn't even put it on her main channel she put it on her other channel <laughs> but man was she didn't think there'd be a day that i'd be like applause to the one and only trisha paytas trisha paytas Oh, I'm not gonna lie though. I feel like if I did meet Trisha, like we would be dope. Like I feel like we would, we would, we would click. Like it would, we, she would be like, "Yo, you're dope." I would be like, "Yo, you're dope." Like I literally just, I don't know. I just feel that energy from her. But you know, who knows? I could be definitely wrong. She does have quite a problematic past. But besides the point, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you like this reaction, also don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this to like, I don't know, maybe 100, 100 plus thumbs ups. That'd be nice. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. My soup should be done here soon. Actually, you know what? Let me show you guys. Let me show you, let me show you guys what it looks like before we leave for the day. So this is the soup. It's looking very... I can't chew it. You know, all the pieces are very small. I'll just be swallowing. Because, you know, I got that throat game. And that's that. That's on that. That's on that. Okay, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yo. Purpose. 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 Purpose.